two solutions available in the lab, one with 5% alcohol, another was 13% alcohol. How much of each should he mix together to obtain six gallons of 8% alcohol? The answer that Hattie gave is a great answer, but I prefer to think of these as seesaw problems. So you have a seesaw. On one end of the seesaw is our 5%. And the other end is our 13%. Somewhere over here is 8%. These guys, the 5%, the 13%, they have to average to 8%. And just like on a normal seesaw, if you have, are farther away, you sort of move the seesaw more. This is, uh, the right-hand side is, five units away. The left hand side is three units away. Three plus five is eight total units. Wow, that's really hard to read. Okay. Uh, eight plus five is, ooh, sorry. Three plus five is eight units. So for every uh, three units of 13% solution, we're going to need five units of 5% solution. So eight units in total. Eight units is six gallons. So one unit is 0.75 gallons. So the five units of 5% solution is going to be 5 times 0.75, which is 3.75 gallons. Three units of 13% solution is going to be 3 times 0.75, which is 2.25 gallons. And that's your answer. All of these problems, uh, they all sort of succumb, uh, all of mixing these solutions together. It always ends up being a seesaw. You can just use uh, this sort of a picture to make sense of it in your mind. The solution that Hattie gave is a textbook solution. It's fantastic. It always works. It relies heavily on algebra. This is sort of maybe a more intuitive approach. I find thinking of it this way to always be very, very fast as well. I hope you like it.